Hi there, you are watching IndianExpress.com videos. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday addressed people gathered at Lucknow's Ambedkar Maidan on the occasion of 3rd International Yoga Day and counted the benefits of the ancient practice. The PM said that spread of yoga around the world has led to a gradual standardization of the practice. He said and I quote, Earlier yoga was practiced by people in their own way, but now it is being gradually standardized. There was a time when yoga was only practiced by sages in the Himalayas, but now it has become a part of everyday life of people. Yoga has helped in bringing the whole world together. Before PM Modi addressed the gathering, Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath also gave a speech. After delivering the address, the PM performed yoga with 50,000 people gathered at Ramabai Ambedkar grounds. The Yoga Day is being celebrated in different parts of the country and around the world. In Gujarat's Ahmedabad, BJP President Amit Shah and Yoga Guru Baba Ramdev are performing yoga with people. The day is also being celebrated in the national capital, New Delhi. Thousands have gathered at Kannot Place to practice yoga. Chief Minister Arvind K. Jival and Lieutenant Governor Anil Baijal are present at the venue. Tight security arrangements have been made in the capital and across the country at different venues in the wake of London terror attack. For more news and updates, log on to IndianExpress.com. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Wednesday addressed people gathered at Lucknow's Ambedkar Maidan on the occasion of 3rd International Yoga Day and counted the benefits of the ancient practice. The PM said that spread of yoga around the world has led to a gradual standardization of the practice. The Supreme Court rejected former Calcutta High Court Justice C. S. Karnan bail plea and refused to suspend the six months prison sentence handed to him in a contempt case. The order was passed by a seven-judge Apex Court bench on Wednesday. Uber founder Travis Kalanick has resigned as CEO of the ride-sharing company that he founded in 2009. Kalanick had earlier announced he was taking a leave of absence for an unspecified length of time. All the fans of Ranbir Kapoor and Katrina Kaif have a reason to rejoice as Ranbir has made it clear that there are no cold vibes between the two and they're open to working together in future. The actor says Katrina was misquoted and it was a funny banter that was taken seriously. Announcing his resignation as head coach of the Indian cricket team, Anil Kumble late Tuesday night said he was informed about the reservations Captain Virat Kohli had with his working style for the first time yesterday. But those in the game say communication lines between the two had more or less snapped during the past few months. 